So what are the best stateside bases in the Air Force? I'm gonna tell you what I think right after I tell you about today's sponsor. If you have not gone to BMT yet, make sure you check out Sandbox and tell your friends and family because they simplify the way you can send and receive mail at BMT and it makes things so much easier. Highly recommend checking them out. Also, they can help you book your travel to see your loved one graduate and they have so many resources to help your friends and family navigate your military career. For more information, be sure to check them out at sandbox.us. So when it comes to picking the best stateside bases in the Air Force, this is going to be completely subjective to each individual because there are so many things that you can factor into making this decision. I'm gonna let you know what my top five picks are. Starting with number five is going to be McCord Air Force Base located in Tacoma, Washington. Now I have been to Washington State a few times and it has been awesome every single time I've been there. The only negative side for me is that it gets pretty cold there and I am not fond of the cold weather. Weather. But I highly encourage you to try to find somebody who is from Washington State that doesn't like Washington State. Every single person I have ever met from there absolutely loves it there. And the few times that I've been there, even when the weather has been pretty crappy, I've still enjoyed my time there. So I think it would be a really cool place to be. And it is also just about an hour south of Seattle. So that's somewhere that you can go travel to on the weekends. Number four is going to be McDill Air Force Base in Tampa, Florida. Now I am one who is fond of the hot weather and and I also love the beaches. I have been to Tampa before and I absolutely loved the area. And being in Tampa, you are so close to everywhere else in Florida. So every weekend you can just pick a city to go to and travel to it. So Miami is only five hours away. Orlando is only two hours away. You're right on the Gulf side of Florida is absolutely beautiful. So for me, there's so many positives about this Air Force Base. Number three is going to be Wright Patterson Air Force Base located in Dayton, Ohio. I'm actually from Ohio and and my maiden name used to be Patterson, but neither of these things are why I put it on my list. I've been to Wright Pat before. It seems like a really great base. It's also an hour away from Columbus, Ohio, which is the capital of Ohio. There is hockey there. My husband and I love watching hockey, so that's a major plus for us. There is so much history there. The Air Force Museum is there. I've been to the Air Force Museum twice, and there is so much to see that even in the two times that I have been there, it has not been enough time to see everything. And that is just one of those museums that you can go to over and over over again. So those factors all together are just why I think it will be super awesome. Number two is going to be Joint Base Andrews, which is located in Washington, DC. Now I'm gonna be completely honest with you here. I am the type of person who likes to look good in front of my supervision. And I like to make connections with people who can benefit your life and your career as a mentor, or just be a person who can give you a good recommendation. DC is also an awesome location. The traffic is pretty terrible in downtown DC, but all of the monuments and the museums are really awesome awesome to check out. I've been to DC multiple times and I will definitely continue to keep coming back. Now the number one stateside base in the Air Force for me personally is Nellis Air Force Base in Las Vegas, Nevada. Kyle and I were stationed at Nellis before when he was in the Air Force and we absolutely fell in love with the city. We love the weather. We love the mountain. We know we want to live there. We love it so much. And that is my top stateside Air Force bases. Here are some things that you can consider whenever it comes to picking what base is best for you. Some people don't want to be very far away from home, so they pick bases based on what is closest to their family. Some people pick bases based on what the weather is going to be like. Some people consider things to do in the area and nearby places that they can travel to pretty easily. And another thing to consider is if you are able to deploy or not while you're at that base. But I would love to hear what bases you all like and what you consider when it comes to picking bases. Keep in mind that even though you make your dream sheet, you are not guaranteed guaranteed to get a place on that list. We have a video about dream sheets so you can check that stuff out later and I will see you all in another video.